Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. We are up here in northeastern PA, getting ready to uh, unload. We made it up here. We brought a couple of uh, guys with us this morning, and uh, we got a full load of stuff, all kinds of material, rebar. We got a bunch of rebar, forms, different things, and a skid loader on the back. Getting ready to unload it right now, so let's get her done, head on back. Do some for the lumber yard back home. Enjoy the video, guys. Stay tuned. With the help of the farmer and his truck and trailer so we got it unloaded that way with an extra set of ramps now i gotta see if i can make this turn here it's gonna be tight Let's see if i can pull up back up really nice up here really beautiful farm here got some couple creeks running through here got a nice old dump truck up there in the distance I don't know if you guys can really see it but <clears throat> it's pretty cool so they're working it on loading it it's not taking long which it normally does not take them long at all so a little bit of everything. All kinds of stuff. Bunch of that wire mesh, which is always interesting to haul. So, still not sure how we're gonna get turned around in here. It's a lot, it's very washed up around here. I guess they had a lot of water here from what uh, she was telling me. There was just water everywhere. So, a lot of gullies here that you know, are gonna make it tough to turn around and stuff. So, see what we can figure out. Okay, we're getting the last of it off. Some pavers there. I'm gonna try to back up into here. Got my mud flaps hung up so I don't tear them off. And uh, we'll be out of here. Back down to Lancaster County.
countryside. So we stopped here by the overlook and I don't want to just point my camera down there too much, but <laughs> there's guys mowing lawn down there. <laughs> They're like weed eating the bank and mowing the yard, the grass down yonder. So I don't want to just point the camera in their face, but it is a uh, beautiful overlook. I thought there was water down there, but I guess not but uh yeah we're gonna keep moving here i think he wants to weed eat along the guardrail here so we're gonna keep moving beautiful said there's DOT down here. I see a state trooper right here. I guess this is where he was talking about. I don't know. I mean, that guy's... No, not there. That's the Pendot station. That trooper's like... The front of his vehicle's like two feet. It's literally sticking out on the road. It's like two feet from me when I went by. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but he might be the spotter, I don't know. But guy going the other way hauling equipment told me that DOT's down here in town doing inspections. Like I said, he said they got a truck now that they're inspecting, so let's hope they're still busy. We'll see.
you know, up this way, as a lot of you know. You know, a lot of nice mountain views rolling. It's not always the nicest with a truck. As soon as you get off these main roads, like off of, you know, Route 6, some of these other routes that go up over the mountain north to south, they're, uh, you know, they're not, not great to travel on with a truck, but, but they're okay. A lot of rough roads up here. Flashing lights here means the way station is open. Um, but anyway, 81 was just crazy. The one section on northbound was really bad. And then down through drums, like just south of 80, on 81 was red in both directions for, you know, a couple miles either direction. So, I don't know what was going on, but I didn't really feel like sitting in traffic, you know. So I decided to come this way, take this down to 22, 222 down through there. So, better than sitting in traffic, hopefully... We can cruise right through the way station here. Now there's two guys in front of me that blew the scale here, but they might have pre-pass, I don't know. Um, but I was, a lot of times the little median up ahead in the center, they like to sit there and uh, have a chaser there, so I don't really trust blowing it, but we'll just cruise on through. 
all kinds of different drinks that she makes for us during the summer months. So thank you to her for doing that. So we're gonna have that and our uh, nice Italian sub for lunch today. looks a little better some sketchy roads to get here man I tell you tight or blind corners looks like we're gonna be right along the river right along the river out here in York PA looks like we got more hard corners
this looks like a pretty hard uh, left to make. Trying to decide if I want to back down in there. It looks pretty tight to make that turn. Um, I think we're just going to back in. We're going to do that. We're going to back in this road because it's just... I can't make that left. Now, I could go here and turn around, but I think I'll go ahead and just back in. And then when we come back out, we can go in here to the left and spin around if we have to. There's no other way out, you know. What we got to work with right there. Very small road. Branches sticking out. Got the river over here to the left. I imagine this is for some kind of vacation home or something, I don't know. It does not happen very often that I back in a long ways like that, park the truck, and I'm right where I need to be. <laughs> but this is one of those times. I mean, I back in here. I got room here, which I was starting to freak out about, because as you can see, this road is crazy small first of all check this out these guys this guy's trailer was always just kind of a piece of junk you know and look at that they got a newer driver in there and he got her cleaned up man i had messed up the uh toolbox on this side one time when we were renting it and i bought him a new one it looks like he put that on see that looks like he put that on and uh got the wheels polished so but yeah look how small this road is i was like going by these houses and it drops off into the river on one side and rock on the other i'm like how are we gonna get this unloaded but i made it back in here and ta-da plenty of room on both sides here with the moffat he wants everything stacked against that big tree which is muy bueno you know perfect got a little dock here I don't know if this belongs to the house here I'm guessing do I trust it yeah I think so <laughs> it looks new so look at that chocolate milk all oh, that heavy rain we had and it just uh, you know made a mess out of the river water is just a dark brown but walk down here this looks almost like an old boat ramp or something there's a nice boat ramp just up the up the uh street here where i backed in but look at that water man it's just so brown still a beautiful view though the water just looks really nasty so does that house <laughs> they're probably going to turn that into some kind of cool river home you know so I'm gonna get all these straps off of here and then we're gonna unload it. Ain't gonna take long. Let's get her done. So one other quick thing before I start unloading here. Got all the straps off now, but I'm starting in through here. I start backing in through here and there's this lady right at the start there getting her mail and shaking her head at me and i'm like whatever you know mind your own business and then i come on and a lot of these communities like this along the river you know things like this they're vacation homes or in this uh place here it seems like all older folks so it's usually a lot of retired folks right which is great you guys know that i respect older folks i know a lot of my audience are retired folks and and uh i love the advice i gained from you guys and all that but i'm coming in through here and there was a car that had to wait on me a little bit till i back in my spot right and it's this this older couple you know and they put their windows down and they're like staring at me and i'm like how are you doing you know 
that this road is not made for a truck like this is what Karen said you know this road was not made for a truck like that I'm like yeah I just <laughs> had to pull forward like five times back and in here around those corners I know this road ain't I don't want to be here <laughs> you know I don't want to be on this road but hey trying to make a delivery here and then the guy was like well I think you're lost and I'm like no I want to deliver right here see that building where they're working <laughs> that's where I'm delivering so I don't know my, my point is a lot of these places where it's kind of a retired community or stuff like that like it, I don't know a lot of people seem like they they're always annoyed at you and they want to tell you what to do and all that but I don't know why it's like that. I'm not talking, I'm not speaking for everybody, but I'm just saying, like, you can just feel it. As soon as I start backing in here, there's a lady there shaking her head, and, and then this couple is like, telling me I'm at the wrong spot, and I shouldn't be on this road with this truck, and you know, it's just like, and then they just drove off, you know? But it's like, uh, yeah, I don't necessarily want to be on these small roads either in these little river towns with a, you know, semi and a 48 foot trailer, but, Hey, you know, I'm trying to make a delivery here. So just a little rant there. Alright, safe and sound in its position where he wanted it. Now, I didn't want to go, he wanted me to go right against that tree. I'm like, man, I don't think so. That right there drops straight down into the river. <laughs> I don't want to get a call and say that your material's in the river, sir. So, let me just stay back about four feet, you know? Ew, a sock. So, anyway. One more nice glance at the river. And we'll just uh, mosey on out of here. This was a fun delivery. Even though it's a little tight to get in here, I'd love to see what this is gonna look like, you know? Probably gonna be a real uh, transformation done to that building. So anywho, I think that's it for today. We're gonna do a load to Quarryville yet, but it is uh, getting a little late, so I got to be home in good time. So my wife has plans. So I'm supposed to be home in good time to watch the kids, hang out with them tonight. So I want to respect that, you know. Load to Quarryville would take a few hours, so we'll do that early tomorrow morning. So anyway, let's get on out of here and back to the shop. Like I said, it was kind of fun. I, I think I, I feel like I always say the same thing like these deliveries are fun because they're challenging but at the same time you're like holding your breath you know backing in and getting everything done and then when it's over you're like huh whew, that one's done but at the same time you kind of get a rush out of it so Hopefully we can get out of here without meeting any cars. When I was backing in, there was a truck, a pickup coming out. And what he did is there's little pull-offs occasionally. 
like where that pickup is parked up front or here to the right you know where the people park that live here so there's places to pull off but he had to back up about I don't know a couple hundred feet get out of my way but he was nice about it so with all that being said let's roll like the water was up to here all flooded out here looks like it got pretty bad I think we'll see if we can make this turn here I think we can make it I'm just a little worried about that guardrail sticking out there but I think we'll be all right I can get traction. See, I can't drop the rear airbag, so. Oh yeah, we're good. Yep. It's close though, really close. But that's better than doing it when I was loaded, you know? Better doing it when you're empty if possible. trailer back now so I had just left my trailer here swapped trailers you know and grabbed theirs and the Moffat so I'd mind just sitting here but I got the trailer swapped again I still can't believe how good they got uh, that trailer over there looking they had bought that thing new a few years ago and it just I, I don't know if I was the only one that ever washed it, but it never, ever got washed, or it's just always looked like it went through a war zone or something, but they got them polished now. We'll see if they stay clean, but the thing looks, the wheels and the toolboxes look beautiful, so anyway, let's get back to the shop, call it a day. Somebody's trying to make a turn up here, a Peterbilt with a reefer, and people are not cooperating. We went through two light cycles already, and people aren't getting out of his way. Now normally I would climb out and help him. Now the light's green again. Like usually I would climb out and go help, get the cars backed up, but it's kind of far. And I think he's going now, but yeah, people just not getting out of the way. And he wasn't going to make the turn with people where they were at. So, you know, looks like they moved and he found enough of room. But I usually tell people even there, like that car could have went to the right. Just make a right, you know, do go around the block or something. Just just get out of the way. You know. If you can't back up, just get out of the way. Make a right or something. But anyway, I understand a lot of people don't realize that, you know, but if a truck can't make a turn, you've got to get out of the way somehow. You know, one way or another, you got to get out of the way.
back to the shop here and we are done for the day. And we're also going to end this video here. We got some new headlights in. I forgot to show you guys earlier. Put in some new headlights. You know, what? The headlights held together. Why, what's going on here? Oil. It's the general state of neglect. Pretty typical for being out for three months. Yeah, look what I blew out from behind the seat. Somebody's stash. Strap, <laughs> tagline. Yeah, it looks pretty normal when you haul it. You got to clean everything out. Seat belt hanging four feet out for some reason. Yep. You know what's funny is people, when I put you on camera, people think you're the business, people think you're the owner. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Sam is not the owner. I he's the same as everybody he's, else. He's only a supervisor, a mechanic, and a dispatcher. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it <laughs> yeah. oh man so i wanted um shaved headlights you know with a cat take get rid of this put a cap on maybe put a light here or up on the mirror but sam didn't really want to go that route so we got these i would have liked the darker ones too but we didn't do that either <laughs> so it's fine though but i got the low profile caps to put on here that are in like an inch and three quarter or something and they're like chrome so those I ordered from Rainey's truck parts so we're going to be taking these off and uh, these are like three inches and then putting the inch and three quarters on there as soon as they come in so yeah the new headlights look pretty good um, would have loved to put the nice shaved ones on there with a you know paint this paint the end cap um the color of this but yep we ended up not doing that that is really expensive too but it's just looks good but hey it is what it is we're gonna hop in the ranger here and head on out of here all right guys just heading home here taking the back way like always but uh gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the content pretty cool getting to deliver along the river there you know and uh, tomorrow we're gonna be going we're doing a load down to Quarryville and then reloading in Oxford and taking that to Millersburg so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow so thanks for tuning in everybody I appreciate your support and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>